Hi guys. So today we're going to get freaky and learn how to whip. So um, we're going to do this basic inside out whip, which I'm doing a little wibbly wobbly right now because I'm so used to doing the ghosting version. Um, but I'll teach you the moves and you'll get it and you'll do it better than me. Um, and then we're going to do the ghost to add some spice into it. So, in order to do these moves, uh, I, you should be familiar with the weave and also a linear isolation. You don't have to be, but I just perceive the inside out whip as being a combination of those two moves. Okay, so get a small hoop. This one is actually a little big for me, which is another reason it's wibbling, wobbling around. <laughs> so get a small hoop, if you have one, and put your dominant hand on the bottom. So I'm right-handed, so this is on the right side of my body. And then we're gonna, as if we're doing like an isopop, we're gonna drive it out in front of us. So we just push it out. So our hand is now facing backwards on the right side or back side of the hoop. Now we're going to loosen our grip. So we do this little grip change. We just let the momentum of it, let the hoop fall. So our hand is now on the top of the hoop, palm facing down. And then we're going to do a little isolation here, drive it down. So now your palm is on the bottom facing up and we're kind of in an opposite of where we started. So we're gonna do the same thing where we drive it out to the front. Now this is an awkward grip. This whole move is kind of counterintuitive, but it makes sense, you'll get it. So once we're in this awkward grip, palm uh, facing forward, kind of to the right on the back side of the hoop. Once again, we're gonna let gravity and momentum, let it fall into this grip change. We're now, we're holding it on the bottom of the hoop with our palm facing up. And once again, we're gonna hold it, we're gonna drive it down in this isolation here till we're back where we started. So one more time, palm holding the hoop on the bottom, palm facing down. Push it out to the front, palm facing backwards on the back side of the hoop. Let gravity do a grip change here. So now our palm is on the top of the hoop facing down. Drive it into an isolation, palm bottom of the hoop facing up. Push it out in front, palm facing forward, back side of the hoop. Grip change, pull it to your side, palm facing up. And just repeat, repeat, repeat. Now it's helpful to think of that oh so famous table analogy where your hoop is on a table. So try not to let it fall beneath that. And that helps with the isolation part because you do want this to look pretty isolated. Not all over the place like mine is. <laughs> so now that we've got that, let's add in our ghosting hand. If you're unfamiliar with ghosting, it just means that one hand is doing all the work while the other one has a very loose grip and is just tracing along, but it's not doing any work. So uh, your ghost hand is always gonna be on top of your driving hand. So my ghost hand is my left hand. So we'll just put it on top here. You can start with it up here. So put your ghost hand up top, back by your ear here, and then just repeat the move as normal. So they're gonna meet here. And then once that grip change comes in, sneakily slide your ghost hand on top of the other. So now once again, it's going to be on top and pull it back by your ear here. And while well, you do this entire isolation until it's time to start driving it forward, push it forward and then your hands will meet. Grip change again, slide the ghost on top, pull it back by your ear, do your isolation and when you drive it forward, they will meet. Once again, grip change, slide your hand on top, pull it back by your ear. As you drive forward, your hands meet. Grip change, slide the ghost on top, And that's it. So I can't think of any troubleshooting tips right now, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you and give you my best answer. All right, happy hooping and I'll see you soon.